my name is Super Geek 100, and I am back. So today I'm going to be, if you read the title, um, I'm going to be making the scar that uh, Savitar has underneath the mask. Now, if you watch The Flash, which you absolutely should, because the show is absolutely phenomenal, um, you will know that Savitar is a time remnant of Barry from God knows how far into the future. His hair is kind of like this, so why not? And he has this radical scar. Why did I say radical? He has this like crazy burn-looking scar on his face. So today, I'm going to be making that. I have a ridiculously rough sketch just to get me the idea of everything where everything goes. I'm going to be forming it on this mannequin head. And I'm going to be making it out of hot glue. It actually would work very well for this. It holds shape pretty nicely. It would um, go It would go along. I can get pretty intricate with the details. And I can do the boils pretty well. I'm not going to be doing the contact lens because I, I have this phobia of getting things really close to my pupil. Like earlier today, my eye had sunblock in it. I would not put... If my life depended on it, I wouldn't take an eye drop. I... It... I... Time lapse. set up before I peel it off because I don't want to screw it up, but it looks pretty close to the show, and also it's nasty and awesome. Alright, so the appliance is uh, created from, uh, from hot glue, and it looks pretty freaking cool. Uh, it's not perfectly accurate to the show, but I mean, it's nearly impossible to do so. I'll try to put it on my face. So, the thing, as you can see, is kind of bent, and that's because of the way it built it on the uh, mannequin. So, it kind of goes around my face like that, and I'm just going to attach it with spirit gum. So, I don't, it looks pretty nice. Now, the next step is to paint it. I'm not going to spray paint it or do anything like that. I actually have this old Halloween makeup that I, uh, had from Joker I was last year for Halloween, so I'm gonna paint it with that in another time lapse starting now. coat so all this paint this face paint doesn't dry too well so I'm gonna hit it with a clear coat so all of this none of this comes off hey a uh, quick segment in this video just as I was editing this video here I just reached 300 subscribers so I'm gonna be doing a Q&A tomorrow so leave your comments down below um, ask me anything for the Q&A and it will get answered. 300 subscribers, holy crap. All right, here it is, it's done. Now, there's styrofoam on the back, uh, like little particles of it. Usually you might think that's bad. It's actually good for me, here's why. It will give something the spirit gum to uh, grip onto really well. If you don't know what spirit gum is, it's basically, uh, if my eye, this eye is more closed than the other, that's because I mentioned earlier I got sunblock in it, and it's been irritated all day. 
Anyway, um, spirit gum is basically contact cement for your face. You put it in the area on your face, tap it till it gets tacky, then put this thingy on. Now, as you can see, it's all curved to my face, and that's because the mannequin head is really close to my own face. This reminds me of Freddy Krueger, especially the way the reds are. Um, now, I'm going to be doing makeup over this when I eventually apply it for the uh, final review, final reveal, and then for, of course, Comic-Con. Now, um, the reason this stuff is here is just so that I'm not, it's, it's almost like a primer, but it'll just bring it that extra mile. The other makeup will just be to blend it with my face so it doesn't look like a hot glue thing stuck to my face, which is what it is. With that being said, that will wrap it up for this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this with your friends. Add this to your favorites. I'm probably changing my channel name soon. So, I'll do a video when that's about to happen. Look forward to that in the future. I just poked myself in the eye. I should stop this video.